Yeah, just wait, aren't the quarter inch ports the limiting factor? And absolutely they are, but only for a few seconds. And the best way to describe this is we have a, a traffic jam here. And, and when you're talking about mole molecular removal, remember there's only a, a definitive number of molecules removed. It's a sealed system. So we're not replacing those molecules with new ones all the time. We're starting out with so many molecules in the, in the pipeline, and as we pull them away, they get sucked out and they're gone. And then we have fewer and fewer to deal with. So at 76,000 microns, when we start, there's 760,000 microns at atmospheric pressure. Uh, by the time we get down to 20,000 microns, 97% of the work is done. In other words, 97% of these cars are gone. So initially, when we first start the vacuum pump up, this is a slight restriction of flow. If this was a 1,200-ton centrifugal chiller, that quarter-inch port would be a factor for a long, long time because it takes a long time to get from 76,000 microns down to 20,000 microns. But in a residential system, this is only for about 10 to 15 seconds that we have this dense, dense traffic. And then we get down into this region here where we have less and less traffic, and this quarter-inch port now becomes less and less of a factor until we get down into here. Maybe we're in the... In the in the 1,000 micron region where that port may as well be uh, as wide as seven freeways wide. Because if you think about it, if we had all this traffic and we had to neck down to one lane, well, that would, that would really slow things down. Here, the traffic is moderate, and we choke down, it slows down just a tiny little bit as you're going through there. But eventually, when we get down to, down to a single car traffic here, man, we can zip right through the toll booth, never even have to stop because it's just that much easier to flow. So in reality, when we size this port up, there's actually a port sizing and, and an orifice, which is this is considered an orifice for viscous flow. That's good for about 14 CFM. So that uh, port is really, really not the restriction when we're talking evacuation. But what we do have to talk about is overall pumping speed and system 